I guess in this video I am going to discuss what first and last value function in MySQL database. So in my last video I discuss about entire function in MySQL. So let's see. So I am using the table EMP. So this is the record inside the table EMP. Now here after let's write the code for first and last value function. So I have first select. So select I am going to select EMP number. Now here after E uh, EMP E name now here after dpt number and that card now here after let's write first underscore value now here let's give the parameter so here I'm going to write EMP number Now here after that site over clause. So uh, about the override clause I already discussed in my previous video in detail way. So please go through this. Now here after order by sir and here giving DSC. So highest salary that will come first. Now here after as and here writing first. Now here after let's write from EMP table now if you execute this query so that will give you the first EMP number so according to or uh, uh, so at the highest salary or uh, that will uh, come first so according to highest salary so let's give execute so see at here so at here the highest salary is 3000 and here 7788 so EMP number is the 7788 so so that here first value it's the 7788 it's a display so right here in place of EMP number so you can display also employee name so let's write e name now if you execute this query so that will display at here escort so right here it's all are displaying escort now in place of DSC you can use uh, give at here in ascending order so let's execute so by default it's a ascending order so see at here ascending ascending order so according to uh, here sir so a name is smith so at here it's the first uh, name of uh, a employee name is smith so at here it's all are displaying smith smith here now here after you can use at here partition by cross answer so partition by cross is the option in first value function so partition by I'm going to make partition on dpt number because dpt 10 is uh, duplicate 20 duplicate 30 duplicate so dpt number and here after let's execute this query so see here the first in dpt 10 the first e employee name is miller so that here it's a display miller now that creates the another group for 20 so 20 add here dpt or uh, add here uh, so in employee name is in 20 is smith first employee name is smith so add here it's all right displaying smith now here the in dpt 30 the first employee name is james so that here it's all right displaying james 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 now here after let's write add here include one more column dpt number so if you execute this query so right here I am getting the error message. The reason of error message is uh, first value function accept one parameter only. So it accepts only one parameter. Now here after let's copy this one and uh, paste it down. So in place of first value I am going to write at here last. And uh, here last and this time uh, partition by it's not required. So I'm just control x now here after let's give meaningful name so right here last now if you execute this query so this will give you right here so right here uh, this uh, giving a last right here smith jams uh, Oh, this is uh, S. Twitter, S. Smith, James, Admin, Martin, Martin. 
so I'm not getting expected output. So the reason is at here in uh, the first last value at here. So in last value, the current so unbounded preceding value. So at here preceding value is from at here S Smith and that in end with at here S Smith only. So current value so that is start from here. So range uh, that is start from unbounded proceeding and current row. So this is the thing is happening here. Uh, unbounded proceeding. So unbounded proceeding and that is start from unbounded proceeding or uh, to add here current row. So that to add here that start from uh, Smith and that end with S uh, here only. So the, uh, the start from first column that end with first column. So that here it's a display Smith. So add here that start from James and end with uh, here this column. So that here it's a display James. I start with uh, this uh, row and here uh, end with this row. So that here it's a uh, you know, display Adams. So add here in or uh, divided add here in here. So side is the duplicate. So see at here, so salary is duplicate, order by salary. So that here, that is start from this row, this row, and that to end with uh, this row. At here, DP number and salary both are duplicate. So that here, that is start from this row, end with this row. So that here, it's uh, displaying Martin in both place. And here after mirror, that is start from uh, this row and that end with this row. So at here, it's a display mirror. So at here, that means the range between unbounded preceding to the current row. So that here, it's a display this. Now I will display only the last value. For this, you have to in include something extra like uh, or you have to write rows. So rows and here, hereafter write between operator and here unbounded unbounded preceding and here unbounded line so let's execute to this query now so right here i'm getting the error message AMP number. So add here rows between unbounded proceeding P R E or C E D I N G and and operator I forget. So that here I'm getting the error. Now let's execute again. So add here in uh, this record the last row or uh, row is forward. So that here it's a uh, displaying forward forward forward. So in place of uh, a name, so you can also include EMP number. So the last EMP number 7902. So let's execute. So at here, it's a displaying 7902. So that here in last value function, if you want or uh, expected output, so you have to include this things. So at here rows between. So unbounded preceding. So Proceeding means that starting from first row and that and unbounded flowing. So that here unbounded flowing. So that go to till last. But if you don't give that here, so unbounded proceeding uh, start from the first. So if you don't give these things, so if you don't give this thing, so unbounded proceeding is start from first row and that end with first row. So when that found any duplicate value, so unbounded proceeding is uh, start from this row and since the DPT number and cell both are duplicate so that go to the next so that here it's the displaying or uh, in this place and that will display if you use if you use without this thing so this will display at here 7654 note 7654 here or uh, both are uh, uh, same so at here so at here this things or uh, both are same here so if you give at here EMP number so that Seven six five four that display. Now here after in uh, place of this you can also use partition by. So partition by is the optional part. 
the partition by is the deputy number now here after let's execute so at here in dpt number 10 so at here last value is 7 7 8 2 it's a display 7 7 8 2 and in 20 also at here the last value in dp 20 So the last value is 7902 so that here it's all are displaying 7902 so at your rows so rows between unbounded preceding so in db20 preceding is 7876 and here unbounded following so following on 7902 so the range that will check from here to there so in between this the last value is uh, at your 7902 so that here it's a displaying 7902 and here for db30 so at here the last value, last EMP number is 7698 row. So that here it's a display 7698. So this is the thing about first value and last value in my SQL database. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.